get it, 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 get it. <laughs> Five red bits right here in the third. Now you yeah. Rachel, get your stuff together now. We're going fishing. My wife is a teacher and my daughter's back in school. They are having a difficult time getting back into the swing of things right now. That's totally understandable. It's still early in the year. Considering all of that, you can imagine it's probably not my highest priority to get out super early on a Saturday morning in pretty bad conditions to try and go do a little bit of fishing. That having been said, when I get a text message from my dad saying that he's out there catching bull reds and I am missing out, I've got to get out of here and I've got to get out of here quick. There are fish to catch. I'm going to take you on this journey that I went on this fishing trip that I just got through. But I want you to know that the goal at the end of this video is not necessarily the actual catch, but the events that transpired afterwards. Don't worry about all that right now. We'll get to that in just a minute. For right now, let me just show you how this whole trip got started. Ooh, so early. Looking pretty calm out here right now. But I think we were supposed to get some rain. Still going fishing. There's a lot of fish to be caught. Sorry for my lack of preparation. I thought I had it together, but I come out here. This morning, the handle off one of my poles was laying beside it in the bed of the truck. Did it just fall off? The pin, the, pin, the handle goes on, you put a drive pin through it to hold it off. Yeah. I kind of twist it off. I didn't even know it. <laughs> so I had to pop it all out. I don't, I mean, I just took a finish nail and stuck it there. Pulled it over, it worked fine. Yeah. Get him. Come on, let's do it. And I mean, whiting is going to be an awesome byproduct. It's the, the trout and reds that are running right now that are that's, the, that's the one I'm most I'm excited like about. I said, I'm really dying to get one of those big ambassadors set up. To, the first thing that come out here was like put a half a whiting on it or something. Walk that out into the third car. Yeah, for something, something big time. <laughs> We got rain over there, we got rain over there. There's no rain there. There's no rain right there. <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit rough going, but we're gonna do it. Let's see what we got. Oh, stepped on a crab. to me out here.
crazy cloud formation up here. Yeah. Creepy looking. Check this guy out. What is he gonna do? He's coming in the shallow water here. That is not the most intelligent decision to be coming out here in a boat with these storms and this surf. Or he's just a master captain. That is entirely possible as well. Not something I'd do though. that way out there. Oh, he took it. He ran like a son of a Yeah, he did. He pounded it. This hull, this one has got mullet on it. The rest of it, I have one small mullet from yesterday. Okay. <laughs> He's going in the box. It's right there somewhere. Right there. <laughs> it's another bluefish. Yeah. That's a good one too. Oh, and that's your other line. I knew that was gonna happen. Damn it. I got money says you've got a hard head sitting on the end of that line. It's the uh, end of the trip, last rod reel in. And he got robbed. So, that's how it goes. It was a fun day though, it was really pretty out here, and uh, we're hoping to head out to Fish Pass and take another crack at this with my family if we can get out there soon enough. I do this entire YouTube channel uh, filming entirely with just my phone and that GoPro that you probably see me wear from time to time. So in order to save the battery, one of the things that I do, because I just completely will you know, decimate a battery over the course of a fishing trip, is I put my phone on airplane mode whenever I'm filming. Now, unfortunately, the problem with that is that, you know, as soon as we're done fishing and then head back to the house and, you know, put my phone into a uh, normal mode, well, that's when all the text messages get dumped on me. <laughs> and man, did they ever get dumped on me today. My dad and my uncle, and I don't even know who else, but everybody is piling up down here at mile marker 288. They want to do some big time fishing and uh, we have everything we need to take a crack at uh, doing some shark fishing. So I thought, you know what, I'm packing everything into my truck. Rich and the girls, they've got a couple things that they're going to do. They're going to be joining us later, I think. I'm not sure. We'll see. I'm just headed down the beach and, you know, yeah, that's it. I want to get into some fish. So I jumped right back into it. We're going to do everything in our power to put some meat in the box today. Well, that's not something you see every day. Either really bad news or uh, somebody's taking advantage of their, their position here. So it wasn't a terrible start to the day. Um, we could have been fishing that pier a little bit different and we ended up fishing it different a little later on and did just fine. But that's another video and another time. My family was in town. They wanted to go out and have some time out at the beach and do a little bit more fishing. I could not pass up that opportunity. So regardless of whether or not I was soaking wet, I did manage to head back out there. Well, things just got worse. 
now that the rain's gone, everybody's out to watch the show again. <laughs> I saw him jump, I thought he threw it. We got cup bait. Yeah, cut bait on this one that you guys have a lot of there. I'd like him, yeah. Thank you. Huh? 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 Oh, did he get you? Yeah. Yeah. Is he still alive? Right there. Oh, there's a school of them right out on the sandbar. I can see them from here. I better check mine too. Yep. As is, uh, as this is just how my day has been going. I just cast this guy out like two seconds ago. Help me out here. You punk bird. You're probably going for whatever was about to take my bait too, weren't you? That's what you get. There. You're gonna be okay now. Got a big school of skipjack right here in the rain. Get back. Take that bait. There. Oh. Oh, I think you threw it. Unless he's swimming at me. No, I got him, I got him. Put a red fish. Not too bad, not too bad. 
but also not big enough. I'm going to let him go. <laughs> All right, guys. That way. That way. For those of you who are sitting at home right now, watching on your phone, and wondering why in the world did he spend that entire day out there soaking wet in the rain and the thunder and the heavy surf, catching next to absolutely nothing, at least I didn't get skunked, right? Well, my answer to you is, I'm an idiot. The real thing that was going on behind the scenes with this entire day is that it's a little bit of a competition. My dad and my uncle are really good fishermen, do it a lot. I want to earn their respect. I want to be seen as somebody who can hold their own against these guys. We have to work extra, extra hard because let's face it, I'm not as good as them. One thing that I can do to set myself apart from them and anybody else out there is work a lot harder. I will get a lot more wet. I'm going to sit out in the rain. I'm going to go deeper and I am going to break a sweat trying to catch a fish. All of that paid off in my favor today because after it was all said and done, I did get an invite to go out and do a fishing trip with Perry on his boat Thrill Ride, which is an absolute honor and that is the real goal of a day like this was. So if you didn't enjoy this video, don't worry about that. I highly suggest you consider subscribing right now so that you can check out this next adventure that I am just about to go on. Video that's going to be right there on our entire fifth season of video right down there. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.